Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to use properties to find the sum or product of a number. At the end of this video, you will have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. In this lesson, we will use the properties of addition and multiplication to solve the problems more easily. When we rely on these properties, it gives us a set of rules that can better help us to solve problems mentally. The properties of addition we will look at are the commutative property, the associative property, and the identity property. The multiplication properties are the commutative property, the associative property, the identity property, and the distributive property. Let's start with defining the properties, and then we will look at a problem that we can apply them to. The properties of addition and multiplication are pretty similar, so we will define them together. Starting with the commutative property of addition, it means that if the order of the numbers added together changes, the sum or answer stays the same. This means 5 plus 10 is the same thing as 10 plus 5. The same goes for the commutative property of multiplication. If the order of the factors or numbers being multiplied together changes, the product or answer stays the same. For example, 5 times 10 is the same as 10 times 5. This may seem very obvious, but without pointing this out, sometimes students will recalculate the same problem twice. The next property is the associative property of addition. This means even if the numbers are grouped together differently, the sum stays the same. For example, 6 plus 4 plus 3 equals 6 plus 4 plus 3. When we see the parentheses in any equation, we group and solve those numbers together. This is also applied to the associative property of multiplication. If the numbers being multiplied are grouped differently, the product is still the same. For example, 3 times 6 times 2 equals 3 times 6 times 2. It can be helpful to remember that the commutative property changes the order of the numbers and the associative property changes the way the numbers are grouped. Lastly, the identity property of addition states that any number added to 0 is that number. For example, 0 plus 16 equals 16. The identity property of multiplication states that any number multiplied by 1 will be that number. For example, 1 times 9 equals 9. Now that we have defined all of the properties, let's take a look at a problem to apply them to to make solving easier. Looking at our problem, 47 plus 14 plus 53, this may seem easy for a fifth grader to line these numbers up vertically, then add them. However, if we choose a property to apply, we can add these numbers up mentally. Looking at the numbers, you can see that 47 and 53 are not next to one another, but they would be the easiest two to add together mentally because when we add up their ones place, it would make a 10. Using the commutative property of addition, we can simply move these numbers around so that 47 and 53 are next to one another. When we add 47 and 53 first, we get 100, and we can add on 14 easily for a sum of 114. This is the same answer students would get as lining up the numbers and adding them the traditional way. This shows that the commutative property helped to solve this problem easily and mentally. Lastly, we will look at the distributive property. The distributive property takes two numbers being multiplied together and breaks the larger of the two numbers into smaller numbers that are easier to multiply. Most students cannot multiply larger numbers mentally, and this property allows them to do so. Let's use the distributive property to find the product of 7 times 53. We first want to break 53 into two smaller numbers. You should always choose two numbers that you can multiply easily. So we can take 53 and break it into 50 and 3. 50 is a good starting point because it ends in a zero and will make multiplying a large number simpler. Now we can rewrite our new equation and multiply the two different problems. 
The idea is that we are distributing the 7 through the smaller numbers. 7 times 50 is 350, and 7 times 3 is 21. When these two smaller numbers are added together, we get 371 as the product of 7 and 53. This property allows students to choose the smaller numbers they will multiply by. A common error that can occur when using the properties is that students do not use them and will solve the problem the longer or traditional way. Take the example we use the commutative property on. Some students will simply add up these numbers vertically. This method is not incorrect to get the answer, but does not show understanding of the properties. Remember, the properties make adding and multiplying easier to do mentally. To address students not using the properties to solve similar problems, have students circle the last digit in all of the numbers added together to search for two numbers that may be easiest to combine. Always looking to make a 10 is ideal for adding mentally. Another common error related to this skill is when students are unsure how to carry out the distributive property. Remember, with the distributive property, students must choose two smaller numbers to split a larger number into, making multiplying mentally easier. Oftentimes, students will split the number and the smaller numbers are not easy to multiply. Looking back at our example, we split 53 into 50 and 3. This is because students can easily multiply 50 because it is a multiple of 10 and 3 because it is so small. Where students often go wrong is choosing two numbers that are not easy to multiply but still equal 53. For example, 49 and 4. To address this issue, always encourage students to choose a multiple of 10 when possible. For a deeper understanding of the properties of addition and multiplication, revisit the videos related to place value relationships and understanding place value. Remember, students may prefer their standard way of multiplying or adding. Continue to reinforce that these properties will make the computing easier when applied correctly. When using the distributive property, show a few examples of ways a number could be split and have students pick out which one is the easiest to compute. Remember, continue to strengthen the basic facts for accuracy and speed. This can be done as time drills or just calling out problems while in the car or at home. To gain a full understanding of this concept, visit the lesson page to view the rest of the place value, multiplication, and expression set of lessons. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.